Before I begin, I want to address a ongoing budget negotiations with the congressional leaders. I'll be very brief. Speaker McCarthy and I have had several productive conversations, and our staffs continue to meet as we speak, as a matter of fact, and they're making progress. I've made clear time and again defaulting on our national debt is not an option. The American people deserve to know that the Social Security payments will be there. The Veterans Hospital will remain open, and that economic progress will be made, and we're going to continue to make it. Default puts all that at risk. Congressional leaders understand that, and they've all agreed there will be no default. And it's time for Congress to act now. Now, I want to be clear that the negotiations we're having with Speaker McCarthy is about the outlines of what the budget will look like, not about default. It's about competing visions for America. Under my administration, we've already cut the deficit by $1.7 trillion in our first two years. But Speaker McCarthy and I have a very different view of who should bear the burden of additional efforts to get our fiscal house in order. I don't believe the whole burden should fall on the backs of middle class and working class Americans. My House Republican friends disagree. Instead, Republicans passed a bill that would make huge cuts in important programs that millions of working and middle class Americans count on. Huge cuts in the number of teachers, police officers, border patrol agents, and increased wait times <clears throat> for Social Security claims. And I won't agree to that. I put forward a proposal that will cut spending by more than $1 trillion that freezes spending for the next two years. That's on top of the nearly $3 trillion in deficit reduction I previously proposed through a combination of spending cuts and new revenue raisers. The economy is growing. The only way to move forward is with a bipartisan agreement, and I believe we'll come to an agreement that allows us to move forward and that protects the hardworking Americans of this country.